World Humanist Forum Asia has brought us together. And I would like to mention one organization who has taken part in this, our peace conference is World Peace Mission Conference. This conference is also working to promote peace in the world. And it, it is our resolve that we have to go from darkness of noise towards the light of peace. Dear friends, as the topic is said, the heritage legacy of Asian countries in giving the message of peace, nonviolence to the world. Still, we have to evolve this very concept of peace in different contexts. We have to preserve and we have to promote this peace culture in the world. Because these days, we are living in the world of technology. We are about to become a citizen of the world. And that is why, though the conflicts, crisis are inevitable, we have to find out the ways to how to deal with crisis, how to deal with conflicts, how can we deal with through proper dialogue and negotiations. Unfortunately, this is the history of the world, that this is the history of war and peace. War has destroyed a lot and peace has created a lot for the progress. We are talking on the background of Russia and Ukraine. There are potentialities in Asian countries which can give a different kind of message to the world, the message of peace, message of non-discrimination and a message of non-violence also. One more important thing I would like to highlight and that is that most of the Asian countries, more than 95% people are religious people. And the foundation of all religions is peace, non-violence and humanity. But so-called custodians of the religions have made this earth of more noise, of inhuman practices, and of discrimination also. So we have to fight against such type of mentality who are disturbing our peace and creating violence in the society. Now, as rightly said just now, peace doesn't mean only absence of war. We have to work before war also and after war also, because peace is the a kind of mental ability which can give us insight towards humanity. And that is why the, our heritage, this is the heritage of nonviolence. This is the heritage of harmony. This is the heritage of live and let live. This is the heritage of Vasudeva Kutumbakam. This is heritage of assimilation. This is a heritage of acceptance. And that is why we know most of the religions like Buddhism, Jainism has taught us nonviolence. Hinduism has also philosophy towards humanity, which has given us the message of Vasudeva Kutum. World is one family. Similarly, Islam, now we have started from today only, Ramadan month has started pious month, Islam, the meaning of Islam itself is peace, Aman. So this is a different kind of heritage, a dif different kind of people, a different kind of ideologies that Asia has given to world. And now this is the time. Now we are called upon to show the way to the world. How can we live peacefully? How can we live with non-discrimination and violence? We have observed that war cannot bring but destruction, displacement, and suffering. That World Humanist Forum, Asia has brought this conference. What can be the objective behind this? We are not politicians. We are not scholars, but we are only common people. Now it is our voice, the voice of common people, because common people are the sufferers. 
they are the losers and that is why we have to raise our voice on behalf of common people average people and so we have to show to the world that what type of world we want to achieve what is our dream